Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance, and this is a Fifi La Piu Piu, the 105 Le FH 18B2 French Tier 5 Premium SPG, and we're on the south spawn of Ruinberg. And this command, this uh, RT is being commanded by Penguins. Penguins. Oh, what a name! Well, Fifi La Piu Piu is sporting La Tricola, the French national colours. And he's also got a mark of excellence on his barrel. Now, I'm very interested to see how he performs on this because I've seen previous battles on Ruinberg uh, in the Fifi. And some of the players have gone into this corner uh, at the back and they've done rather well. I tend to favour other positions but I'd certainly be interested to see how Penguins get on. Now, as we know, the Fifi, otherwise known as the Leffy by some, is actually the conversion of the Char B1 French tank, the heavy tank, and he has a 10.5 centimeter howitzer, German field gun, on top. Right, the first target's a T67, and there's a looks going by. T67 is stationary. Rounds out. Oh, it's a kill shot! He got him with splash. That shell landed right next door to the T67. Wiped him out. So, first kill. Now, what's he going for next? We can't hit that M5 because he's in shadow. You see the red line? That means the buildings are obstructing the field of fire at the moment. So, he can't hit that. Bring up the mini-map so we can see what he's up to. But, there's another tank. It's that looks that we saw earlier. And he's up in the village. And that looks on uh, Penguin's team is uh, trying to get away from that other one. Mainly because he's got support. There's an Electo and a Panzer 38 NA there. And oh dear, no, I think that's very bad for that looks now. He's been surrounded. There's an ELC and the looks attacking. Um, although it appears that he's going for the ELC, the uh, Penguins. And that looks is going to get wiped out. If he stays where he is, the Electro will get him. And he's gone. And it was actually the Panzer 38 NA. He's going for the looks. He's zeroing in. And round out. Looks like that looks is trapped. And now he's dead. He got him. That's his second kill. 34 hit points. He's fired another round in where the ELC was last seen. Hits the building. Okay, what have we got? There's, well, most of the enemy in the town... Um, he can't see at the moment. In fact, can't see many of the enemy at all in the town. And their forces have actually progressed further. Oh, look at that! He threaded that shot, that shot directly between the wrecked buildings to hit the DW2. Now he's going off to the SU-76G FT, the Chinese tank destroyer. Round out. Kill shot! 35 hit points right into the rear. That TD didn't stand a chance. And they found the enemy RT, a gorilla. Now that's got a 15 centimeter howitzer. That's a pretty dangerous uh, RT. He fires around where he thinks it's going to be and he hits the building. He didn't have a fully dialed in reticule when he fired. Okay, he swapped over and there's the LC that he aimed at earlier. And he's down at the other end of the map, the east side. K9, who's shotgunned immediately by his teammate. And that's a kill shot. 65 hit points. Yes, he's got a he's got a um, a teammate on the on on his team. It was um, an M41. There he is, and uh, he managed to shotgun that ELC to get him stationary. But it looks like the M41's receiving fire from the enemy RT, and we know the enemy has a Fifi as well as a Gorilla. Uh, we know where the Gorilla was last seen. He was in A2. But now we're looking for the Fifi. Rounds out. Nope, no result. Now we can see that wreck being moved. That indicates there is an enemy behind that tank. Um, rounds out on the ELC. Lands behind. I don't think that enemy tank is the, still there. Ah, it was the Panzer 38 NA. And there he is. He's been seen now. Okay, he's got a direct line to him. Can shoot, rounds out, oh he misses, he's going to have to reload. The good thing about the Fifi, it's got a very quick reload. Round out, oh kill shot on the move, 
340 hit points and hits him bang on. That's a one-shot kill. But he has been seen, so he's going to have to move. Otherwise, the enemy Fifi will be firing at him very shortly. And there you can see two rounds coming in to hit him. One of those was from the gorilla. The other one was from the enemy Fifi. And more rounds are landing nearby. There's the DW2, the one he fired at earlier. And he's got a green line now. Okay, he's lining up the shots. Dialing in the aim. Side on. He should be able to take it out with one shot. Oh, it went wide. He didn't have a fully dialed in reticule when he fired. And he's lost sight of the DW2 now. Now, Fifi is built on a heavy tank. And that means he's tougher than most other vehicles. He can take a few hits and survive unless a round hits the cockpit but he's got this DW2 by the rear and it's a kill shot right into the rear of the DW2 the Dubrick Swagon 2 or Spy didn't stand a chance with a 10.5 centimeter how it's around hitting him right in the rear it's like a dirt gun smacking them but he's all alone against four enemy that's uh, all of the rest have been killed off he's got six kills so he's got his top gun well, this is going to be a last stand. He's going to have to try and do his best. But he's facing three Artis and one Tank Destroyer. And the Tank Destroyer is the Electo. And he has taken some damage. We do know that. And I expect that Electo is going to turn up very shortly. But remember, because he's a heavy tank, he can take some damage from the Electo and still survive to deal a death blow to him. That 10.5 centimeter gun is very powerful than shotgun. And he's got a good view range. 380 meters, 90 meters, there's the Electo. And he shotguns him at close range. And he's gone. And he's backing into this hole. Because he knows that enemy RT fire could be about to come any second. There's some foot rounds coming in from the enemy there. One just hit. Okay, he's moving away now. He's, he would have gone unsighted, so they won't see where he is now. But we know where the gorilla was last seen, so he's probably coming down from his left. I would think he's coming down the one line or the two line. But the enemy Fifi could be coming down anywhere. The other enemy arty is an SU-5, and that's got a short range. It's got a powerful 152mm mortar if he's got the top gun. And it's very good at shotgunning that, uh, that mortar. I've used it myself on uh, enemy. Okay, there's the griller. Okay, he's got to line up the shot, get it accurately. And he shotguns him. 240 hit points, one shot kill. Takes him out. Okay, he's behind this building. And I've seen a Fifi do a Kolobanov medal from behind this very row of uh, buildings. Shooting at the enemy from either end. Okay, we know that one of the enemy is in the cap. And there's the other enemy. It's the Fifi. And he's just around the corner. And lining him up for a shot. If he comes forward, he'll shotgun him. And he does! 260 hit points. And he takes out the uh, other Fifi. That means that the only remaining Arty is in the cap. And that must be the SU-5. And he knows and he's going to expect that... Uh, Penguins is going to come from around this corner because he's too slow to go around the other side. Well, he could do around the other side, but there he's lining him up and he's taken a round and it was a heat round. He's dialing in the aim. He doesn't want to make this mistake and he kills the SU-5. Shotgun to the face. 160 hit points and wins the battle. My God, that was fantastic. Let's have a look at the end of battle results for that one. And it's an ace tanker for Penguins. And he deserves an ace tanker for that one. Because he also won a Bruiser medal. For getting at least five critical hits. He got 20. But best of all, he got a Pools medal. I didn't actually point this out at the time. But after he got the Top Gun, he was on for a Pools medal. Uh, because there were four remaining RT and he was all alone. He couldn't get a Coliban off because at the time that he was last, the last man standing on his team, there were only four of the enemy and uh, that was the great shame. 
Uh, if there had been one more, he would have got a collarband off for sure. But he got a pools medal uh, for killing at least 10 of the enemy. He also picked up a top gun for getting at least six kills. And he also got a high caliber because he dealt the most damage in the battle, at least 20% of the enemy hit points. And he also picked up a counter battery fire for taking out all three of the enemy RT, the Gorilla, the Fifi, and taking out the SU-5 in the cap. Very well done indeed. Penguins, this was a pleasure to watch and to uh, commentate on. So thank you very much indeed for uploading it to What Replays. You did 1,523 hit points of damage. You got the top there. You got the top when it came to kills with 10. And you got the top when it came to base XP of 1,149. Now that was more than double the nearest XP of the uh, of the rest of your team. Uh, and <laughs> nearly four times the XP of the nearest highest player of the enemy team. So let's have a look at the detail report. You fired 19 rounds, got nine direct hits, nine penetration, three splash damage of 1523 hit points of which only 314 were more than 300 meters so most of the damage you did was at close range he received one hit uh one non-penetration that was a result of splash damage uh when he was uh, received a hit from uh, the enemy um uh, fifi i believe and when he was actually uh trying to retreat out of the way after being spotted um he spotted one enemy vehicle. Was, no, actually, sorry, that was the gorilla, I believe. Yes, actually, because the gorilla splashed him. Uh, he spotted two enemy vehicles. He spotted the enemy Fifi and he spotted the SU-5. He damaged 10 of the enemy. He killed 10 of the enemy and damage due to his assistance was 100 hit points. He also managed to stop 50 uh, or got 50 defense points for stopping the SU-5 when he was capping. And on a premium count, he earned 44,234 credits. He also received a holiday ops bonus, which is not showing there. And after repair and ammunition resupply, he still had 63,027 credits. He received 1,724 XP. And because this is uh, during the holiday ops, there was an extra uh, bonus there. It's times five weekends, so he got times five on that score, and he received an extra 690 because Fifi is a premium vehicle. So he took home a whopping 10,138 XP for that battle alone. Uh, that it was pretty amazing and really, really did deserve an, an ace tanker in the Fifi, which is so difficult to get because so many people have Fifis and they all play them so well. So well done, Penguins. This was uh, a really good battle and thank you very much indeed. Uh, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like because I certainly will. And hopefully, <laughs> and, and uh, do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay will be as good as this and will be the next one in our, uh, in our next video. Thank you very much for watching.